All right, I left you guys hanging last episode. Uh, we're back. This is episode 18 of Xenoverse. We're on the moon now, apparently. So we're going to check out what's uh, what's going on up here, I suppose. Um, but before we do that, uh, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. Ha ha ha. Keep the, keep the support of the series going. Appreciate y'all. Oh my god, this music is so loud and dramatic. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Hold on. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna quickly skirt back because uh, I think beating her meant that there's some like open up areas. Yeah, there we go. We got some calcium. Oh, that was well worth it, guys, wasn't it? See, I've got no idea if this is a... Uh, an area I can never come back to after the fact. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just take advantage now on the off chance we can't come back, you know? And boys, I really need this fucking ADHD meds. I swear to God, bro. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but I was so distracted just recording the last video. I, I was just not mentally present. I was not available. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me, bro. Like growing up, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't want to self-diagnose or anything like that, right? But growing up, I just... I, I never paid attention unless it was something that interested me. And I just thought that was just my personality. You know, it's like, oh, I don't care unless it interests me. Uh, but it's I think it's just I genuinely can't focus. It's fucking awful, dude. And um, I don't know. I always, you know, uh, I always thought like, you know, uh, even if I were to have, even if I, you know, even, you know, even if I do have ADHD or, you know, any, any other fucking things wrong upstairs, I'm still able to make a living. So who fucking cares? But the issue is I think I could be doing better and be doing more and, you know, maybe it's holding me back. So I guess that's, you know, even though I can make a living, we can go further beyond. Anyways, enough cringe discussion about <sighs> brain. Um, cool. We got bad guys to kill more, more, more battles. What? Fucking in Pokemon, really? Never. Um, hmm. I'm gonna lead Scaramouche, I think. Scaramouche. Uh, I'm trying to think who's actually best for this. Um, Scaramouche is mainly a special attacker. I really need like a good move that Scaramouche can learn. That's like some really nice coverage. Gleam? If you can learn Gleam, that would actually be not bad. You can't learn Gleam. Can anybody learn Rock Slide? Rock Slide's like one of the best moves in the game. Mm, yeah, you can learn it. Gigamaro can learn it. Yeah, it's not worth it. Volt Switch. Oh yeah, we got Volt Switch. I fucking love this move. Of course, Big Uzi can learn it. Dude, I'm down with some specs Volt Switch action. So down with some specs Volt Switch. Get rid of Low Kick. I'm trying to think what I struggle to kill with Scaramouche. I think it's fighting types. Yeah, I don't think I really get any moves that help though, which is unfortunate. Uh, no, it isn't fighting types. I'm a psychic type. Of course it's not fighting types. What am I talking about? I don't know. There's just certain mons that like uh, dark types. Yeah, that's the one. Dark types. Cool. Whatever. I don't really know what Pokemon Team Dimension use. Like what type? They're like steel, I guess. Steel types. Electivire. No, nope, that's them. Steel, electric, any of the funky types. <laughs> I've got Volt Absorb, you fucking idiot. Die. All right, fuck you. Uh, we get this cool item. Awesome. Full restore. Very, very much worth it. Absolutely. 100% worth it. All right, I'm glad we went the wrong way first because that just means I don't have to backtrack or anything. You're done, human. I just tanked on cola and I'm full of energy. I, I drank Monster 6 a.m. in this morning, bro, and I can still feel the effects. I don't know, dude. As I get older, I feel like I just become like I grow weaker and weaker. I guess that's what age does to you, right? I don't know if it's necessarily weaker, though. Maybe. I don't know. It's weird, right? So like, you know, I'm a big guy. Uh, I used to be able to like tank like a full, a full tub of Ben and Jerry's, like just in one setting, dude. I can just fuck that shit up, right? Now, I like eat that shit in thirds. Like I'll, I'll eat a third of it and then I'm like, all right, I'm kind of done. I'm kind of full, kind of sick of this. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just so weird. I used to just no, no bullshit. Just fucking demolish it. Same with like a Domino's pizza, dude. Just fuck up a Domino's pizza in one setting. But I can't do that shit anymore, man. I like, I order a small one and I'll eat half of it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's it's a good thing for sure, but like it's I, I don't know. Growing older is is very strange. All right, where are we going, boys? Oh, we got some stuff down here. Oh, oh, oh. Uh huh. Okay, can't go in there yet. It's red. Let's go in here then. What other fucking boss rush shit have I got to take care of? Hey, bestie. Skirt, skirt. I am a whole twenty levels higher than this man. Who let this happen? Did you guys let this happen? Listen, I've not actually watched anyone else's playthrough of this game, so I don't I don't know like what the levels are of the final battle. But I figured I would be on. I, I'm probably like gonna. Gonna be, I'm gonna be over leveled as fuck for it. Like I'm over prepared, right? I could probably get away with skipping all these trainers, but I have huge, huge fear of missing out, dude. Like I, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, man. I've just got to cover all bases, man. Like what if I, what if I, what if I am not over leveled and I in fact have to battle every single trainer? And if I, you know, I'm gonna have to fucking grinding into wild mons or some shit, dude. I, I don't know anymore. I'm just talking, okay? God damn it, dude. I, I hate switching my mons. It's such a fucking inconvenience. I'm about to switch back to shift mode on God, on God. Just kidding. Set mode.
for life. Hello? Aboard this rocket, I'm feeling like a space pirate. Call me Captain Harrock. No, I don't think I will. Wait, I just realized. It, okay, so these wings on my back, can I even use them to fly? Dude, holy shit. I think that's the first time a dark type moves actually KO'd me. Fucking hell. Go bestie. It's your birthday. Oh, I hate Magneton. I can't hit him with anything. Dude, can bestie learn earth power? Because if, if we could learn earth power, dude, Magneton is done. No more Magneton. Watch it have sturdy. Watch it have sturdy. It does. Fuck. I should have sent in Bone Meringue, man. Fuck. How do I get paralyzed? I'm literally an electric type, dude. Fuck this. Fuck this, dude. I just want to say, I'm so tired of hear hearing this battle theme. Can I just... Can we just get to the point? Like, can... This is feeling extremely dragged out can we just get to the climax because there are so many grunts and i can probably skip them but holy fuck like it'll just if i'm trying to skip them and i and i accidentally like you know i i'm running back and i accidentally battle them on the way back i'm gonna just be pissed off so i just battle them now so i don't have to you know try and avoid them later can we get to the fucking point like god damn bro i literally this is the second episode of me being in here and yeah it's it's very early on in the episode but jesus fucking christ there's so many of these fucking grunts so many of these bastards dude just fucking die you have like two mons and you're 20 levels lower than me what is your purpose you're just wasting my time this is a pretty cool mon though rain to go like i guess i don't want to say the word apparently you're it's not you're not allowed to say the word but if you know you know dude what fucking type is this thing doesn't matter big uzi just kills you know i'm gonna stop leading Scaramouche because there's just there's just so many fucking dark types dude I might just lead Big Uzi you know actually no I might just lead it Lex and just fucking outrage kill everything I was trying not to because I didn't want Lex to get even more overpowered more grunts dude let's go boys let's fucking go more grunts there he has his own Scaramouche Lex just comes in and just pops with outrage that's all we need that's all we need okay all right all right let's come up here yep let me in oh another fucking big long arch unnecessary sure it's probably gonna be a bad guy fight so I guess I should revive some mons nobody's dead cool Hyper Potion. All right, what's going on? Oh, another fucking door. <laughs> and another long hallway. Absolutely necessary. 100% necessary. Oh, oh my. Victor, there's no way out now. Stop this madness and bring Versal back, or you'll have to deal with the fury of my Pokemon. Oh, Esther, do you seriously think I'm that foolish? I am well aware that... I would have a, a, uh, I would never have a chance against you, so I played it smart. You should have been more careful before just rushing here, don't you think? Enough with your rambling, Victor. Go Suicune. Bruh. What? What's wrong with my Pokemon? I would say you took the bait like a Magikarp. That scepter of mine uh, is not just a mere ornament, but an avant-garde device whose function is to cause interference with the opening mechanism of Pokeballs. What this means? Yes, indeed, my dear Aster. It means that you won't be able to count on your loyal Pokemon for a while. And as a man of science, you should know by now the mind always wins against brute force. Darn it, this is not going well. Bruh. Watch out, Kali. He ambushed us. We can't use our Pokemon against him. My traps effects are limited uh, to one single individual, so if I may, I'd rather take the most formidable opponent out of the game, Aster, and handle anyone else myself. I'm not foolish enough to broadcast that Kali is not going to feel the effects of it. If I hadn't assumed all this in advance, wouldn't you say? I will personally put an end to the uh, this succession of despicable failures Team Dimension has stained at the hands of this youngster. Let me tell you, Victor. This is a really bad play. <laughs> you took precautionary measures against me, and that was far-sighted of you. But you made the biggest mistake underestimating Kali. Everything is in the stake, uh, stake of this battle. Prove them wrong, and let's bring your father back. Okay, I'm getting hype now. Okay. You're not going to accomplish anything, scoundrels. These four metal walls will be your grave on guard okay they should have kept playing the other music to be honest the other music was a lot more hype i was i was feeling that other music dude okay all right dimension general victor <laughs> cricket <laughs> holy fucking shit dude man's has a cricket tune holy fuck oh it's got a focus sash my bad guys oh that was a crit that was a fucking crit all right bro jeez louise okay cricket tune Holy fuck, that's funny. Titar? Oh, the big sexy thumbnail man. Hey, hey, Titar. Did I just. Okay, I was gonna save. I okoed it! Let's go. Let's go. I fucking okoed it. Holy shit. If you guys wanna look at the Titar, go look at the thumbnail because there's no point in looking at it in this video. All right, you know what? I'm gonna. You know what? I was gonna full restore, but I can't be bothered. Let's just go. Let's just kill. Kill. Okay, cool. Don't don't kill. That's fine. Okay, you know what? Now I'm going to full restore. Yeah, this music's really underwhelming, to be honest. I don't think it's good music for him. All right, now we kill. Yo, you should have got a fairy type, my man. You should have got a fairy type because you just die. What's this? Is this a fairy type? Uh, Draco? 
Okay, I'll give you that. You fucked me. You should have sent that out sooner. This thing's cool. This is a cool snake. This is a cool snake. I like that. But my snake's bigger and better and probably faster. Bye bye. Cool snake though. Uh, What's next? Hypno? The big bad villain has a Hypno. Holy fuck, that's sad. And we miss our first ever Leaf Storm. First time ever using Leaf Storm and we miss. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go, boys. Love this. Just kill. It's got really good speed F. Yeah, thought so. Dude, Bestie is fucking roadkill. This mod fucking sucks. Just, just, just Leaf Storm and kill it, please. You're embarrassing yourself. Thank you. All right, what else have we got? Oh, nothing. That was your last mod. Should have planned the situation more carefully. You fucking moron. Requiem of the end. Uh, got anything to say, Victor? Versal Zotter has everything it takes to be the very best. Uh, should have planned the situation more carefully, as you said. Uh, I never thought that anyone other than Aster could foil my plans, but it seems I was fatally wrong. It was obvious I was the inept one for understanding, underestimating the menace rather than my soldiers. Your impudence was the, uh, your doom, and now you're going to face the consequences. Victor, bring us Versal now. After such a display of power, I can only comply without any resistance. There ain't no way. Follow me. I'll lead you to him. Oh, a little more patience, please. We're almost there. Do we trust him? Um, hmm. The deepest room of the spaceship. What better place to hold Versal? Your dear man is behind these doors, locked inside by a code I only I possess. I held my side of the bargain. Now you do as you must. Don't even think about moving from there, Victor. Once we're done here, we'll make sure you're delivered to justice so that you can pay for your crimes. I mean, he's you're on a, you're on a rocket, right? Like we were, and I guess we landed on the moon though. Hallie, me and your mother have no clue about Versal's whereabouts. Then, like a thunder on a sunny day, your burning wish to find him made your blood boil, making you partake in a journey, an adventure during which you surrounded yourself with trustful companions facing harder challenges. And those challenges led you here, just one step before finally meeting your father. Uh, you were successful where we adults failed. So I think it's fair that you're the first one to enter. Go. Oh, reunite with the old man after all this time. Uh, okay. Let me heal up my guys. All right. Well, I guess. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll enter. Okay. What is this music? Okay. Another, another room. Okay. Oh, but why did you, why did you come with me? I thought I was, what? Okay. Wow. He's actually there. Oh, fuck. Welcome guys. The sight here is breathtaking. Don't you think? Bruh. M master? Callie, you've grown so much. How's your mom? Hey, show some enthusiasm. Those sad mugs don't uh, match such a joyful reunion. I mean, it's been years since the last time we met, right? I don't really fuck with his vibes right now. You're expecting me to be in a whole different situation, right? I know what you're thinking. Yet, what you see in front of your eyes is nothing but pure and simple truth. I'm the commander of Team Dimension. Brilliant. Okay, I actually genuinely didn't see that coming, to be fair. Did not see that coming. Versil, do you have any idea what we've been through to get here? Your kid, your kid faced the whole world to find her lost dad and you. You think you can get away with this? Hold your horses, Aster. There's a reason behind everything and you desire an explanation more than anyone else. I understand your perspective, but I'm asking you to just listen to me. Everything I did was for your own sake, believe me. You staged disappearance so that you could keep working on your sick plan undisturbed. Do you really think your words mean anything to us any longer? Who knows how many times you lied to us? It's because of this that I'm opening my heart to you, to tell you how things really are. What I'm about to say will be the first of many sour truths, but since I chose to tell you the truth, I might as well do it for good. You see, the name you know me, Versal, is nothing... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's his name is Silver. Silver from Johto. That's my real identity. What? No way! What the fuck? <sighs> I've always brought um, with me an enormous burden, my father's name, Giovanni. Um, as the leader of the most infamous criminal organization in Kanto and Johto, his fame uh, in the world of crime was immense. Many clans... Um, fervently wished um, to be under his wing. So, in a brief amount of time, he managed to build an enormous empire of crime. I never wanted our names to be associated, so following a suggestion given to me by a friend in the Interpol, I decided to change uh, life in another region. I would have been devastated if my past were to be harmful to my for my family. Uh, so I moved to Aldi uh, with my beloved partner, adopting her names, adopting the names Versal and Clover, so that no one could ever reach us. So, so Clover was on this from the beginning her knowledge of the facts is limited to this as for the rest she knows as much as you do if not even less but now let me get straight to the core of the matter everything was going smoothly i married clover and was more serious in trying to leave a good memory of me by working in the lab in hot Earth city my father on the other hand broadened his horizons and begun showing interest in interdimensional travels looking for new lands to conquer one of these travels one day proved to be his doom as he fell victim to a pokemon leaving this world for good. Once this news reached me, I thought I would have felt relieved, yet it tortured me. What if uh, that wretched creature 
that put an end to him were to harm my beloved ones as well. My beloved ones as well. Giovanni managed to enter the Xenoverse, right? Exactly, Aster. And the Pokemon who killed him is nothing less uh, than Dragalisk, the lord of the, that world. I think yeah, I know where you're going with this. Team Dimension, your destructive plan. Are you saying all of this was born out of fear? I couldn't bear to lose my family as well, so I started searching for a solution. Finally, thanks to an ancient legends passed on by the Cardinals, I reached uh, the Epiphany. The primal creature, the star Pokemon, the red and blue energies, the Xenogates, and finally the Xenoverse Eclipse. I decided that would have been the moment out of harness to enter the Xenoverse and destroy it, so that I could so that I could never hurt anyone anymore. In order to achieve that though, I need pure heart person who could uh, bear the burden imposed by both energies, which are vital for opening the great Xeno gate. You decided that Kali would have to open it for you, don't you? I would have rather left her out of this mess, but she's born under a good star. In simpler words, perfect for this task. I decided that I would entrust her with one of the three star Pokemon and then disappear immediately after so that her adventure would lead to her to this point of my research. And so it was. This seems like such a shit plan. <laughs> <laughs> Kali, I'm asking you to give me your Pokemon and the two cores for the sake of the plan. Once everything here is settled, I promise you we'll go live uh, like a normal family. Hell no! Dear child, if I put you in danger, the only thing I ask of you is forgiveness. Everything um, I've done was for a greater good. And I made you and your mother suffer because I had no other choice. Cap. You had plenty other choice, my man. What the fuck? Oh shit. Mauled? Man, that energy again. Victor told me something about similar happening in the Quasar Express. This must be the altar unleashing its power when you let yourself be possessed by this universe energy. I've never seen one with my own eyes. What an astounding power. Oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> Very well, come forth. <laughs> All right, Jojo. Um, I want to see the, this to the end. So be aware, I won't hold back. Okay, we have to battle our dad. Cool. Yeah, that was a twist I didn't see coming. I mean, I knew it was silver, but I, I had no idea. So I'm glad that wasn't spoiled for me. Uh, well, once again, I suppose. I mean, what do I do? Do I just outrage? Fuck it, dude. Like, you, you, you suck. Oh yeah, he's gonna have Silver's actual team, right? Like, he's gonna send in Weavile next, right? Like, surely he's gonna send in Weavile next. Yeah, there it is! There's the Weavile, it's gonna Icicle Crash. Oh, Mega Weavile. Holy shit, I did not see that one coming. Okay, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yo, that is rad. That is a cool ass fucking design, dude. I respect that. Sorry, Weavile. That is a fucking sick design. Good God. Of course, he's got Gator. I'm gonna just keep outraging unless I hurt myself. Of course, we hurt ourselves because that's just... Yep, that's just Pokemon, isn't it, guys? Yep, we love it. The Gator is getting some D-dances off, but it's no biggie. Crunch. Can't even kill. Do we hurt ourselves? We don't. Yes, let's go, Lex. Now, hopefully we break out of confusion next turn and then we can just finish the rest of his team. Oh, he's got he's got a new Mon. What's this being replaced by? Because usually he has like Magneton and Gengar, right? Dude, why are we confused instantly again? Come on now. Come on, Lex. Come on. Uh, Entei. He has, he has Entei. Oh, okay. That's sure. Uh, let's go. Just, just, yeah, yeah. Or hurt yourself. Yep. Cool. Dude, what's the fucking chances of that? Is it like 50-50? Bullshit, bro. Whatever. Um, Scaramouche. Time to kill. Sacred Fire. Oh, it's got a 50% chance to burn. Fuck you. Yep, he got it. Yeah, unlucky. Scaramouche lived! Let's go! Fuck you, Ente. And that is how you kill Silver. I knew uh, that counting on you was the right choice all along. Seems that the battle managed to quell her resentment. You know, Callie, right after the beginning of my plan, fate chose to make me meet someone I thought would be a perfect substitute for you. You and Trey were in the same way destined to clash, and... The one of you who came out victorious would have been the true chosen one. All right, Harry Potter, fucking hell. After this battle, I can finally say without the slightest hint of a doubt that my first intuition was the right one. Child of mine, you're the expected one. Ah, uh, it's over. Your decade of schemes has come to an end. Give up. Hmm, this fucking guy. Wait, don't, don't tell me that. You've been a clever, you've always been a clever boy, Aster. None of this is quite over yet, in fact. This is where everything begins. Bruh. They have been uh, there the whole time. In order to reopen the Xeno gate, three key ingredients are required. The star Pokemon, the two energies, and finally, someone who bore both those energies. Callie, I had to find a way to force you to unleash your Pokemon's power. The reason behind our battle was this all along. And now, reveal yourself, Xenoverse. God damn! Wow. 
The legends the Cardinals passed on for all this time weren't just simple fairy tales. Imagine if they were. Doors of this universe has opened up right in front of my eyes. Forgive me, Callie, but this is a score I must settle on my own. If you try to hold me back, I'll have to act accordingly and force you to surrender. Versal, don't do it. It's too risky. What do you think you'll do once you're inside? For the planet to be demolished, I'll need to rid it of its lord, Dragalisk. Dragalisk shall fall by my hand. You don't know what you're going to face, Versal. That being is far beyond the possibilities of a human. That's why I made sure I have an ace up my sleeve. A full-fledged final weapon. Show yourself. Mewtwo. Of course he has fucking Mewtwo. Why, why wouldn't he have fucking Mewtwo? And of course it looks fucking crazy. Four arms and shit. You see, I omitted one small detail in my story. Before his annihilation, Giovanni fought for his life against Dragalisk, but to no avail. One of his Pokemon, though, managed to survive and, with its energies, returned to Earth. That Pokemon was this Mewtwo. It came back to the only thing now left to him. You, Versal, the son of its trainer. Always the clever one, young Aster. That's exactly how things went. However, Mewtwo was in crucial condition, so we were forced to make it undergo further genetic mutation. What you're seeing is Mewtwo X, the final weapon uh, whose power rivals uh, the one of gods. Yeah, Mewtwo X? Yeah, that's a real mon, by the way. <laughs> I know what they mean, though. Uh, the Xenoverse Mewtwo. Callie is right. We're not letting you go that easily. Very well. Seems you're way too stubborn, child. Mewtwo, take care of this. Then join me once you're done with these two impudent fools. Oh my god. Verlis, no. <laughs> D dang it. Callie, I'm still under the effects of Victor's trap, so I'm useless more than anything. I'm going home behind your father. What? Is Mewtwo... Um, none of us will be able to go through that portal as long as that Mewtwo stands guard. We've got no choice, Callie. If we want to stop Versil, uh, we'll have to face that Pokemon. <sighs> I have to fight Mewtwo? Come on now, man. And at any point... Oh, they did heal me. Okay, thank God. See, I don't know if we can catch it or not, but I'm going to try. Like, when, uh, when else am I going to get the ability to catch Mewtwo? Okay, got some cool splash art. And we're battling X Mewtwo. Cool ass art. Look at his tail, bro. Yeah, this thing's sick. This thing's cool. This thing's cool. All right, I guess I'll just crunch. Banded crunch. He's got protein? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Okay, banded crunch is doing bits. Jesus Christ, dude. I'm gonna heal Lex. Then I'll do one more banded crunch. Cool. Uh, now we'll see if we can actually catch it. Oh, wow. We okay, you cannot catch this Pokemon. Wow. Fun police. Fun police. Just for the record, it would be dead if uh, I didn't try to catch it. Jesus Christ. Okay, me too. Knock it off. Not very effective. Oh yeah, use Drain Punch. Huh. This is where we bring in Scaramouche. Drain Punch me. Fire Punch? Okay. Fuck you. Got that Rocky Helmet kill. You know me. Well, the final weapon. Mewtwo got fucked. Mewtwo fled. Bye bye. Mewtwo was force of nature, but you managed to see eye to eye. You have my respect, Callie. Callie, Aster, there you are. Please don't be K. God damn it. You made it, guys. Uh, not on time, though, just as I feared. We found Victor at the entrance and he told us uh, you were here. There's no time to waste. We have to chase Versil. How do you know? Trey told me everything on the way here. Snitch. Callie, I understand how much uh, the truth shocks you, but this is uh, time for action. If your father really is in danger, we need to go in there and help him. We can't just stand here moping around after everything we've been through. Yeah, yes, Kay is right. We have to end this universe as well and quickly. Come on, Callie. We're following your lead once you're ready. Uh, can you guys heal my mons? Please. You know what, actually, uh, I think we're going to wrap the episode up here. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to end the Xenoverse for the last time, I think. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in episode 19. Bye-bye.